Hello, Quad Flying Fun here. Um, wanted to do a uh, video this evening of my uh, Yizan, um X6 Tarantula. Want to go over some things that I've done to it uh, since last time I uploaded a video. And as you can see, I've basically just taken it down to the bare bones, took the uh, landing gear off, and uh, I already had taken off the uh, prop guards on it. And one of the things that you can do, um, if you leave these uh, covers on your LEDs, um, one thing that really helps you at night, um, the night flight video that I did, I had these on here, and uh, it really uh, helps make it stand out on the bottom a little bit better. So you want to leave these on here, and the way I did that, um, you can see this, there's screw holes in here that uh, the original prop guards mounted to. I just took some hot melt glue and uh, glued them back on and uh, works real well and you can see the LED shining through them right now and it works really well at night so and this is an excellent night flyer um, if you look at it from the front here you've got the blue lights up here on the front and you can see them real well and you got these blue out here you know when it's coming at you and then the reds the back and uh, it's so big that you don't uh, have any problems with orientation on it so um, one other thing that I've done um, I added graphite uh, lube to my brushes in here to help them um, last longer and one benefit from that my motor power increased dramatically when I did that and I think it's because that graphite conducts and it's helping the brushes conduct better to the armature and it's making more power and my flights have, my flight time actually went up also so that's another benefit of doing that I added some, uh, just last night I put some uh, ball bearings, I took the brass bushings out of the prop shafts and put ball bearings in there so I'm going to get my uh, watch set up here, and I want to do a time on it tonight to see where we're at as far as time. Now you can see I can't take off from the grass, so I'm going to hold it down here on the bottom and just let it lift off out of my hands. So kind of dangerous with this guy because you got these big props on here, but uh, hold it out like this and uh, shouldn't be any problem. So let's get going here. Get the watch going. Watch is running. Go to... 100%. Let's go to 100% rates here. All right, let's fly. And you can see, man, you take them prop guards off and take that landing gear off, and this becomes one heck of a performer. I'm telling you, I've had it out here several times flying it, and it just, without them prop guards on it, it's a screamer now. <sighs> Get him down here where you can see him. I really got him up there. That's the thing I've noticed since my uh, since I lubed them motors with the carbon. Uh, with that graphite, I mean, I only have to fly now. I've only got to give it about 38% throttle. If I don't, it really climbs like crazy. Right at me here. Right at me. See, right now I'm only about 40% throttle, and you can see how this thing's flying with 40% throttle. It's amazing. I've been waiting for somebody to make a quad like this one. This thing performs just like my little one, with like set up like this. It sets up, it flies just like my uh, JJRC, JJ1000, that little quad. I had it out here. We had some, uh, it's a really nice evening tonight, as you can see, I've got no wind and uh, Out here a couple nights ago and we had really really bad winds I waited till after dark to fly and uh, the wind had died down some but not hard, a lot and it still flew really well this quad has enough weight to it that it can it can handle some wind
So you can see when I make these passes right here, I'm only doing about 30% throttle if I get 30 or 40%. If I give it any more than that, I mean, it'll climb right out of sight. I'm a bank and yank flyer. I love flying them when they're like this, I'll tell you. And since I'm not having to lean on the throttle so hard, it uh, it's really extended the flight times of it too. Even though I'm flying like this, it uh, it flies really a, a long time on a charge. Now you can hear, listen to it when I pick up the throttle. I mean that wasn't even 50% throttle right there. I mean, this thing pitches over so far in 100% rates that uh, I don't have to hit the throttle much on it. It really goes. I've been checking the motors just by touching them when I get done flying and... Uh, Motors aren't hot at all on it. Here it comes, right at me, right at me, right at me, right at me. I haven't really done a extreme range test on this quad, but uh, I'm, they say they have really, uh, really good range, but I'm gonna do a, antenna mod look for that soon um, on this transmitter I bought some extra uh, 5 dB antennas and the wires and stuff and I'm going to uh, be doing the mod on this transmitter so because I'm a flight FPV and I wanted to have the most range I can have my plans are for that is there's a transmitter that I can get. Let's take him down there. You can see down to the end of my road. See, I'm out. That's probably 200, 200 feet at least away from me down there. And no loss of transmission. Look at this guy go. Look at the speed on this guy. See, I have to lit off <laughs> when I come out of a... When I lit off the pitch stick, I have to really let off the throttle or it just climbs like crazy. I'm logging my uh, flights to see how long the brushes last in it with this graphite lube in there. I may have to apply it more than one time. We'll see when I wear these motors out and I get a new set. We'll, uh, I'll go from there on it and see. But I'll tell you, it really, putting that graphite on the uh, brushes in this guy really, really helped the performance of the motors. And I've got a video on it. I did an amp pull on an old motor before and after. And I know it's helping them, helping the conduct because it pulled more amps. And I could hear the pitch on the motor change when I did it, the pitch picked up. I mean, the motor actually picked up speed. I'm still kind of leery of doing uh, flips with this guy. I know that really stresses the motors on him. I want to see how it holds up to flying like this a few times, then I might do it. Not uh, some flips, just all, I like to do barrel rolls, and I think this guy would be excellent. Excellent doing barrel rolls. Let me pull it into a hover here, and I'll show you where I'm at on throttle. Okay, you can see it's, right now it's just hovering. Look at my... Look at the transmitter, I'm at 36%, and it's hovering at 36% throttle. 
that's why I'm saying I think my flight times are lasting so long now but because I don't have to hardly give it any throttle at all after treating them motors with that graphite lube I don't have to give it any throttle at all now I'm getting uh, so much better performance out of the motors which I wasn't after that that wasn't my goal I wanted to see if I could make the brushes last longer and uh, just help the motors You see where we are on time here. Yeah, we're at eight minutes, so still got plenty of flight time left. <sighs> One thing I'll have to watch when the weather you still have to watch with these little motors when the weather gets really hot because you get temperatures above I mean it's about 80 degrees out here right now you get temperatures above that and it really will uh, these little brush motors don't do well in that also thinking about when this set of motors wears out I'm going to uh, I've got some uh, M30s, with, uh, they're supposed to have harder brushes in them, and I think I'm going to use those brushes, which the motor casing is the same, I want to use those brushes, and I'm going to get some uh, magnet wire, and I'm going to rewind these motors with a, a, a bigger diameter wire. Where are we at here, are we flashing? Oh, yeah, we're flashing, so let's bring her down here. I'll just set her down here in the grass. Okay. So, let's stop the watch. Now, got 9 minutes and 47 seconds out of her there, but I was really leaning on it hard sometimes there. But, uh, I'll tell you what, doing that uh, mod to these uh, motors, putting that and the lube, I've got it in my video, it's just uh, carbon uh, or graphite carbon lube that they use on locks and keys. That's all it is. And uh, my thoughts were on that was that uh, carbon conducts, I know that, or the graphite conducts. So I thought it would, uh, and it's, it's, it's a lube and it would help keep them brushes from wearing so much. But I've been checking the brushes. You can you can see through these little hole access holes in the motors. You can see your brushes in there as you're flying. So I'll know when they get down to you know where I need to um, swap the motors out. I'm not going to fly it until they absolutely quit. Because if it if one of them uh, goes on you while you're up, it's not it's hard to get them down without crashing them. And um, so I hope you like that. Um, just wanted to show some of the. Just show the performance of this quad without the uh, prop guards on it and the uh, and the landing gear. This thing is a superb flyer. It is is um, absolutely a superb flyer and uh, does. I mean, it's a good stunt copter. I'm gonna. I'm kind of leery of doing it with it, but I think I'm gonna take a chance and uh, do some stunts with it and uh, start trying to do some barrel rolls and things like that with it and experiment a little bit. Let me check these motors here, see if they're hot. Yeah, see, these motors are, I mean, they're, they're not hot at all. Cool to the touch. And you've seen how hard I was leaning on it there, flying it. And these motors are just cool to the touch. I mean, I had a uh, WL Toys 262, and you do that with it. It wouldn't fly like that. You, you do anything with it like that, and uh, it would uh, tear the motors right out of it. I crashed it so many times that uh, I finally got fed up with it and quit trying to, I quit fixing it and flying it because it had just, it just wouldn't do it. It just couldn't do it. And where this quad is just uh, something else. Awesome quad. So I hope you like that. And uh, give me a couple, big thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe. And until the next time, see you. Bye.